It's one of the key components on our roads to help keep us moving. We're talking about the traffic signal, but those signals can cause frustrations when conditions change, and those signals are programmed to deal with it. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprazier digs deeper into new technology that would adjust those signals in real time to keep traffic as well as transit and emergency vehicles moving without those awful big traffic jams. When it comes to traffic signals, there are a lot of factors involved. You have to look at the flow of the vehicular traffic. Then you need to time it. You also have to figure out when each light should stay red or green. And finally, determine which times of day those lights need to change to keep the traffic moving. But to keep traffic moving efficiently throughout the entire geographic area, you need to take a much broader view, not just a few city blocks to keep things flowing. Did you ever get the feeling you were going nowhere fast? I just came from Fuquay. It was a two and a half hour round trip, uh, just with all the lights and traffic and the choke points. With this state's population exploding, we can keep adding more and more roads, so we have to make the ones we have more efficient. If we can get the infrastructure lined up to work on moving everybody, then that's going to automatically open up and make the reduction of emissions. It's going to provide better fuel economy because we're all going to be moving more again, and we're going to reduce that time at intersections. That's where artificial intelligence steps in. Light, a California-based company, has come up with a real-time-based system which coordinates traffic signals to allow buses and automobiles to keep moving no matter how the traffic patterns deviate because of congestion. Currently, traffic lights in North Carolina are reprogrammed manually at the cost of $5,000 per signal as part of an upgrade program by the NCDOT to adjust for periodic changes in traffic patterns and volume. Every time, three to 400 signals uh, every year with that program. For those who suffer through light cycle after light cycle waiting to get through an intersection, any improvements would be welcomed. Would you like to see a system where they could like control all the traffic lights in real time? That would be nice. Do you have this in operation anywhere, even on an experimental basis? So this is working in a couple cities in the West Coast. Here's how it operates. The system takes data from transit dispatchers, cell phones, navigation programs, and scores of other relevant data sources and makes real-time decisions, then funnels those decisions back down to the correct traffic signals on the street to coordinate the smooth transit of vehicles. We were able to deploy this technology and show that we were able to reduce their travel times by 20%. Here in North Carolina, NCDO OT oversees 19 centralized signal systems in our municipalities. For example, along the US 7401 corridor between Garner and Raleigh, there are two separate controlling systems. Raleigh controls the signals within the city, but when you get into Garner, the NCDOT controls those signals. Is it better to try and do a whole regional approach to traffic signal timing as opposed to like individual centers? Uh, I think it's dependent on the, the area and the corridors. NCDOT believes that approach works better than the light regional system because it says traffic in the Raleigh area may have nothing to do with traffic in Durham or Chapel Hill. And as our population increases, NCDOT plans to make more changes to its traffic signal systems to meet that demand. Over the next seven years, we're going to be upgrading 5,000 signals across the state to utilize that new um, local, central, local and central software and connect it back to our uh, statewide signal system. Carlisle believes North Carolina is among the top third of states with good traffic signal systems. But the creators of Light's artificial intelligence system say it goes far beyond just traffic signals. Eventually, they say using artificial intelligence to control traffic lights could be adapted to the self-driving automobile. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprazier. Steve, thanks for that. And right now, NCDOT has no immediate plans to install real-time traffic signal control systems in North Carolina that would change traffic lights based on current traffic conditions.